everybody, this is Mr. Giles. Today we have a lesson on adding sounds to your own pivot. And we're gonna, this is gonna be very specific to my class. So step one is to create a folder on your desktop. To do that, you're going to right click anywhere in this space. So I'm gonna use my right mouse button and I'm going to go down to new folder. So right click, new folder. And it's blue, and before I even click, I'm going to type a new name. I'm going to title it whatever the name of my project is. So in this case, I'm going to call it Bad Guy Movie. I'm going to put a three because I have a bunch of folders called Bad Guy Movie. You can just call it Bad Guy Movie. Step two. That looks like step four. Step two, you're going to export your pivot. So you open up your pivot. You go to open your animation, and you're going to go to File, Export Animation, and you're going to export it as an AVI. It's very important you set it to AVI. And then you're going to go to your folder on the desktop that you just made, Bad Guy Movie, and you're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Bad Guy Movie. So it matches my project. You can call it whatever you want to give it. Your title is fine. Save. It will take a moment to save. Just leave all these buttons the way they are. Say OK. And that's step two. Now you can close pivot. Close. Step three. Now you're going to open Movie Maker. Press the Windows button, type in M-O-V-I-E, it'll pop up, it's already highlighted. If you just hit the Enter key, bam, it will open the program for you. There's the program, okay? So now we have the program here. On our desktop, we have the folder that we just made, Bad Guy Movie. So I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna be adding the movie into my program. So there it is, see there's the Bad Guy Movie. I'm gonna just drag it right here into Movie Maker. Now I have it in Movie Maker and I like to zoom in so that I can uh, scrub over my video and find things that I want to do. Alright, step four, you're gonna find sounds you like. So I have just resized my my windows here to make a little more space and I'm gonna open up the Digicom dollar sign folder that is on your desktop. I'm gonna open that up and then in the Digicom dollar sign folder there is a folder called sound effects and songs. I There are literally, there are probably thousands of sounds in here. This is not going to be any good for anyone that's online. This is only going to work if you're a student in my class. So you could turn this off if you want. I have this folder called Alan Becker Animation versus Animator Sound Effects, and it has a ton of great sounds. So what you're going to do is you're going to look for sounds you like. You're going to click on them and listen. Let's try that again. Oh, cool. Whoosh. So there's a whoosh sound. That's actually great if someone's flying through the air. So if I like that sound, I am going to, uh, I can just drag that sound into my other folder. So here's my bad guy movie folder right here. And I'm going to click and I'm going to just drag it over and drop it. Boom, there it is. I might switch my view to list so I can fit more things. And then any sound that I like, I'm going to drag over. And, and then when I'm done finding sounds, or anytime I need sounds, I'm going to put them into my bad guy folder that is on my desktop. Then from there, uh, when I'm done with that, I can just close that folder. And by the way, you can use any of the sounds that are in this, this folder. So, for example, I have authentic sound effects, and there's a whole thing here, bottle drop. There you go, there's a bottle dropping and breaking, water running into a sink. There is a ton of stuff. So, you know, help yourself, look for a few things that you want. Don't spend too much time. Uh, I would suggest focusing on, for today, the Alan Becker animator versus animation sounds. You have the sounds that you're really going to want, like the punch sound effects. So if you go down to P, if you, in fact, if you click on anywhere once and then press like the letter P, it'll jump punch. Okay, so you have all the punches or hit H, hit face. <laughs> Sounds like someone getting slapped. Um, hit slide. Okay, and, and those are great uh, sounds for that. And then there is, um, let me find it. I believe there's a walking sound. Okay, so. For, I just I just figured out where it was. Press F for footsteps. So you have footstep, you have P for punch, H for hit. Um, you have a lot of sounds. By the way, the sound does not have to match. So like just because this says pen short, if it's a cool sound, I can use it. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a pen. It's just he used it for that in his videos. Um, there's punch, there's pop. That's fun. Um, there's boings. I love the boing sound. So find a couple sounds, drag them into your bad guy movie folder so that you have a collection of sounds. That's our next step. 
I think this is step four or five, not sure, but it doesn't matter. The next thing you're going to do is add sounds into your animation. So first you find a spot where you want a sound. For example, I'm going to right there where he punches, okay? And I'm going to add a sound. To add a sound, you should not drag the sounds in. It does not work well. It causes problems. The way you should add sounds is to go to the button. You're going to see that there's actually two parts to this button. There's a top where there's a music note and a bottom where it says add music. Click at the bottom where there's an arrow and pull down to add music at current point. Don't just click add music. Click add music at current point. It's important to put it right at that spot. I'm going to select that. I'm going to go into my folder, bad guy movie, sound effects. You could make a separate folder for your sound effects or just put it in your main folder. You go to desktop first, then you go to your folder, and you find your sound. So I'm going to just select that sound right there. And now, when I have this and hit play, there you go. And then, and then he gets upset because he hurt his hand, and I can add another sound right there. By the way, if you get lost and you can't find your sounds or the different things come up, just press the home button right here, and that'll get you back to where you need to be. Okay, once you have all of your sounds in, the final step is to save. In fact, when you finish, even if you're not finished, the final step should always be to save project. So you're going to want to save project as, just to be safe. And you're going to go into the same folder on your desktop that you've been going into. In this case, I believe we're calling it Bad Guy. I'm calling it Bad Guy Movie 3. And I'm going to name it down here at the bottom. It says it's a Movie Maker project. And um, I'm going to just call it Bad Guy Movie Project. That's going to help me keep track of what that is. I'm going to click Save. Now I've saved it, and it saves all my layers of uh, work for this, this thing. When I'm done, 100% done, and I want to share it with the whole world, upload it to YouTube, wherever, um, I can go to uh, Save Movie. And also, if you're doing this at home, Publish Movie. You can actually publish it straight to Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, Flickr. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with that. But um, you would go to Save Movie. And this is when you're 100% done, finished with your project. Uh, so there you go. I hope that's helpful. Um, I made two versions of this video, and this is a much quicker version. The other one's like 10 minutes long. Have a great day. Good luck.